what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA a Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Furnace Diroma now I definitely wanted to pick this one up and I know this has been out for like a long time too and I think they kept like uh, restocking or re-releasing it you know and I always have been planning on actually picking up this particular diorama, you know now I must admit I can't because it's been a while since I watched any of the other Freddy films but I've seen them all of course you know but I do have like the first one right here on a DVD still, and I, again, I have to actually get this one updated too. I need to get the new Fred the Fred, or the Freddy Film Collection. You have to give me like an updated Nightmare on the Street Film Collection, you know, because it's been a while since I actually had them. I had a DVD collection, you know, but I do need to get like ones that's like updated, you know. But yeah, I'm going to just get on into this right now, and as you can see, this is like the box itself, you know. Alright, so as you can see, this is it. It has an image of Freddy right down the front, and like the furnace too. Even on the side, it has an image of Freddy that says a nightmare on the street. Even at the top, you know, it has an image of him. And on the back, it shows, you know, that the furnace again. And it says, uh, Freddy Furnace Diorama. Furnace door opens, flickering lead light inside. Intricate detail in scale with all 7 inch Freddy uh, action figures, which are sold separately. So, you know, you can put them with like your, your Freddy figures, you know, her. As you can see, this here is the uh, Freddy Furnace Diorama, and I must admit, I do think this is awesome. This is so cool. There's no question I would have picked this up, you know, because I was always planning on actually getting it, you know. I just was like pushing it off, you know. So I'm going to just measure it, and it's about a uh, like it's about ten inches, like in a uh, length, like in height, basically. Now at the bottom is like it's about six inches, you know. I must admit, this is cool. I think this is awesome. <laughs> Being that it's like just so simple, you know. Now, one of the things I do know is that this right here, that my rag, like what a towel that's hanging on here, it's actually white. Because I know I saw like other people like reviews for this, and this was actually, I think, black, you know. Like it was like a dark color. But mine apparently is white, which I think is kind of cool. It makes it stand out, you know. It also has like this, uh, this knob right here, too. This I can count in the move, but I'm, I'm not going to bother it, you know. And I must admit, I do like how this actually looks almost like it's really like metal, you know. And, and it feels hard. See, you can even hear it like it knocks, you know. You can even see like the, uh, the inside of a red dot too as well. And I guess that's where the, uh, the batteries would be for the, uh, the flickering light, you know. I guess you have to pull that out and then cut the switch on for it to work. But I like how this looks, I like how it looks like rusted and so on. I'll definitely have this with like my Freddy figures, you know, or at least one, you know. <laughs> As you can see, there's also a door here, which I think is pretty cool too. And I guess you have to be kind of careful with it. I know I'm careful with it. And you can actually open it up and see inside that there's like the uh, the light bulb, you know, for like the, uh, the flickering light. <laughs> I actually had to mess with the batteries somewhat because as soon as I pulled like that little tape part out, like this piece right here, <laughs> that be in it, you know, that keeps it from coming on, the batteries had popped out of it and I had to actually put them back in, you know. But this is how you turn it on right here at the bottom. There's like a switch, like an on and off switch. And you just, uh, they even tell you how to put the batteries in there too. You set your uh, plus and minus signs up there at the top. So they tell you which way you know. But yeah, you just cut this on, and there's like the flame. Now I must submit, that does look pretty cool. Especially if you got it kind of in the dark. It does like a flame is actually flickering in there. When you look like closely at it, it does like it's actually flickering. Now that is awesome. I think that's pretty cool. It's like a real flame, especially from like a distance. Because you can also open it up, you know, and look on the inside. <laughs> that is a cool uh, effect. It feels like it's actually flickering, you know, like a real flame. But I guess when you get close to it, you can see that it's a light bulb. So yeah, I am impressed with this. You know, I think this is a, a awesome diorama to have, you know. <laughs> I decided to uh, bring out my uh, Ultimate Part 1 Freddy. You can say Ultimate Nightmare on the Street Freddy Krueger figure. And I got him next to it, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, there's no question I probably have him around, you know. And he does scale like within it too, as well as you can see, you know. Now that one does stand. Up. He really does stand. I'm not trouble with that one. 
So as you can see, yeah, that's how it actually looks with like a a Freddy Krueger figure, and this is the, uh, the original Freddy Part One, you know, the Ultimate Freddy too from NECA. So they do go awesome together. So I probably put my other figures, Freddy's with it too as well, but definitely probably this one I probably always like have around, you know. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's the NECA. A Nightmare on the Street Freddy Furnace Diorama and I really am impressed with this. I think this is awesome, you know. Like it really would go good with the actual like Freddy Krueger figure. If you have like Freddy Krueger figures, I think this is awesome, you know. And like I said, I was always planning on actually picking this up, you know. This is always putting it off, you know. And I know it's been out for a while too. I know it's like they had this for like a while, like many years, you know. But I think like they uh, restock it a lot and so on like that, you know. So I'm glad I did get a chance to actually pick this up, you know. Cause I got this on the, uh, the NECA store on eBay. That's where I got this from, you know. And again, I, this is based on uh, the Nightmare on the Street film series. Now, this is the only one I have right here on DVD. Because I used to have the uh, the whole collection, but I only have the original one. And I keep saying, yeah, that's like I was saying with the uh, Friday the 13th, you know. I need to get the uh, updated versions of uh, the Nightmare on the Street films, like on, on Blu-ray or whatever, you know. Because it's been a while since I've seen them, you know, and I've seen them all, you know. So, yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend picking this one up, too, you know, as well. Because it does go good with the... Uh, Freddy Cooker figures and it's a nice diorama, you know, because I might even put stuff around it, you know, to make it look like, you know, like the Freddy border room, you know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. Two Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, but I lock your door. <laughs> ah, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, gonna stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again.